All right, the next type of graph that we want to look at is a bar graph. And a bar graph is called a bar graph because we have um, a series of bars. And it is very nice to use a bar graph when you want to compare things. Because, you know, very quickly and easily we can see, you know, that there's more of one particular item than there is of another. We can look at the comparison. All right, let's look at this particular bar graph. Oops, missed it there. And we'll see what's going on. This is talking about fan appeal. And along the bottom here, we have our categories. These are the different sports. Um, our titles here on the the horizontal and the vertical here always tell us what's going on. So this, those are very important. So this is listing out our sports. We have football, baseball, basketball, college football, college basketball, and golf. Then along the vertical here, it says we have these are the number of adult fans. And this is for every 100 adults surveyed. So this tells us that they asked 100 people and these are the number of people who said that they enjoy each one of these categories. So, for instance, it looks like college football here. Since this um, ends, that our bar ends right here, it looks like about 10 people said that they enjoy college football. So this is how we read our bar graphs. Let's answer some questions here. This first one says, which sports had the most fan appeal? Well, looking at our graph here, can we tell which one had the most people that said they enjoyed it or the most fan appeal? Looks like the pro football because that has the highest number of people who said that they enjoyed it. So pro football. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now for our next question, it says which sport has the least fan appeal? So we're talking here now about the smallest well, as we look at our graph here, it looks like it is a very close race between college basketball and golf. In fact, these both look like they are just about the same. So that's okay. We can have two different categories. We can say the least fan appeal, according to the people that were surveyed, would be college basketball and golf. Now our last question here says approximately how many people are fans of pro football? So we need to look back at our graph again. Here's our pro football and it looks like it's somewhere between 25 and 30. Now here again, this is a, one of the disadvantages of using bar graphs is again, it's very hard to be precise. Um, if we were talking about college football, now that looks like it goes up exactly to that line that represents 10 people. It's whenever you're in between that it's kind of hard to guesstimate. So for this one, I would look at it and I would say, you know, somewhere between 25 and 30. So maybe we want to guess either 27 or 28 or something like that. So I would say approximately, and approximately is these two little squiggly lines, 27 or 28 people. And that would be acceptable.